Welcome to round two of Wipeout. This is the challenge round. Whoever wins this round will go on to the final. And Ryan, I'm glad you got your running shoes on because you will actually be utilizing them if you make it to the final. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Then, it, then we turn into the actual Japanese game show wipeout after that. No, it's, it's not that intense. Uh, all right, so here is how the challenge round works. This is the best two out of three boards, all right? We're going to put the first board up, and here we go. All right, on the board now, you see a bunch of Super Sentai shows. Eight of them are the actual names of Super Sentai shows, and four of them Janessa and I made up this morning. <laughs> so your job is to tell me which ones are Super Sentai shows. Now the way the challenge round works, you guys are going to bid back and forth as to how many correct answers you can give me without wiping out. And so you're going to start the bidding, uh, Ryan, and then Sam can increase the bid or challenge you. Once you've been challenged, you have to give me that many correct answers in order to win the board. If you give me a wipeout, then your opponent just needs to give me one correct answer to win the board. And if they also give a wipeout, then you get a second chance to complete your bid. Okay. All right? So Ryan, you have more money, which means you get the first bid. How many of the eight Super Sentai shows can you name? We're just looking for a number right now. Um, so anyway, you want me to tell you how many? How, yeah, tell me how many you can name out of eight. And then Sam can increase that bid if he wants to, or he can challenge you. So how many? You know, you're just telling, you're giving me a number. Like, how many out of eight can you name? Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to say five. You're going to say five. All right. So, Sam, do you want to increase that bid, or do you want to challenge Ryan to name five? What should he do, audience? Challenge! Okay, just like that. Okay. say three. Well, three is lower than five, so... So, Ryan, you have been challenged, so I need you to name five Super Sentai shows. Good luck. Okay. Um, I'm going to say Seiju Sentai Ginga Man. I'm so, <laughs> uh, Seiju Sentai Ginga Man in the upper right hand corner. All right. Is that a Super Sentai? Yes, it is. All right. That's one. We need four more. Um, I'm going to go with Suyo Sentai. Beta Ranger? Alright, Seo Sentai Bado Ranger, is that a Super Sentai? No, it is not. So, Seo means strong, and Bado Ranger, so I just told you a strong dad. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be checking your email on that. Uh, anyway, okay, so that means to win the board, Sam, you just have to give me one correct answer. If you can, you'll win the board, otherwise, Ryan will get to continue to complete your bid. So, we need a Super Sentai show. Uh, QQ Sentai Go Go 5 on the bottom? Yes. Okay, because the Chiku is up on the top. So QQ Sentai Go Go 5, if that is in fact a Super Sentai, you win the first board. Is it? Yes, it is. And you have won the first board. Congratulations. All right. Audience, how are you with Super Sentai? Oh, JT does. Can you name them all, JT? Uh, yeah, yeah, G Ranger is Maji one. Ranger. What's that? Maji Ranger. Maji Ranger, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to see the last one was on there. Oh, there's four more. I can't see what the one on the bottom right is. Uh, Kuroi Sentai Mosaman. Mosaman? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. yeah, we made that one up. <laughs> Black Sentai Mothman, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kuroi Sentai Mosaman, yeah, we made that one up. It is. Yeah. There's three more. Five man. Five man, yeah. Uh, on Satan? Is that what On the bottom left. Bottom left, he needs to Sentai Go Ranger, yeah. And then right above it? Yeah, the Cutty Sentai Mask Man. Good job. That was the board. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Sam is in the lead, one to nothing. Ryan, you must win this board, but Sam's going to get the first bid because you got the first bid on the last board. 
All right, so here is the second board. We're looking for Japanese public holidays now. We're looking for any holiday that the Japanese celebrate as a public holiday. And there they all are. Now, Sam, you get the first bid this time. Again, there are eight correct answers. How many of those do you think you can name? Uh, I'm thinking at least four. All right, Sam's going to say four. Ryan, do you want to up the bid or do you want to challenge? I'm going to challenge. Okay, just like that. Now, Sam, if you can name all four without finding a wipeout, you'll win the game and the match and a chance to go on to the final. Uh, with no money, but that's okay. A chance to actually win something. So, all right. So we need four from you, Sam. Okay, I know uh, Golden Week is one. All right, Golden Week is one. I'm pretty sure Winter Solstice Day is one. Winter Solstice Day is that a holiday? A Japanese public holiday? Yeah. No, it is not. So they do the. Uh, the other one, they do they do the spring and the fall, but they don't do the winter and the summer. So I they did a Yeah. So Ryan, you have a chance here. All you gotta do is give me one and you'll tie this round. So Japanese public holiday, what do you got? Well, I challenged him knowing absolutely nothing about Japanese holidays, but <laughs> I'm gonna go with Tanuki Day. Tanuki Day. Is that a Japanese public holiday? Yeah. No. Uh, Janessa and I were trying to come up with fake ones, and that was hers. I that was so. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sam, you're back in there now. You still have to complete your bid of four. So we need three more public holidays, and you win. Okay, uh, we'll go for uh, Harvest Day. Harvest Day. Is Harvest Day a Japanese public holiday? Yeah. It is not. So, Ryan. All you have to do is avoid the one remaining wipeout, and you win this board. Okay, I'm going to go with Tea Festival Day. Tea Festival Day, all right. If that is the correct answer, you win the board. Otherwise, you found the last wipeout, which will mean that Sam is the winner. All right. Tea Festival Day. Is that a Japanese public holiday? No. No, <laughs> we <laughs> wow, yeah, the rest of those are actual Japanese public holidays. We thought this would be easier than it was. We were we came we, we, we were trying our hardest to come up with fake ones and you guys fell into every single trap. So congratulations <laughs> on that. Ryan, you won 250 Grego dollars. That'll get you something small from the suitcase of goodies, and we thank you very much for being on Wipeout. Give it up for Ryan. That means it is going to be me and Sam in the final, and we'll see if Sam can take us for something right after this. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to Wipeout. <laughs> so now I know, prepare two games, because we blew right through that game there. Uh, but that's okay. I, like I said, this is my first time running this particular game, and now we know. And now we're going to have fun with our winner, Sam. Uh, so this is the second Grego's Game Show that you have won. Congratulations, and you'll be defending... <laughs> We'll be defending your Pressure Luck title tomorrow evening, right back here in this room. So make sure y'all are here for that, because we had a barn burner last year, so. All right, Sam, you ready to play the final? Sure, we'll go with that. All right, so here we go. Here is the final board. And you are not going to play this first board, all right? Let me introduce my lovely assistant, Janessa. <laughs> and Janessa's going to show you how to play this game. All right, first of all, we're going to put up a board. So let's load the demo board. And here's the question. <laughs> and Jess has never seen this question before. Uh, these are all names of conventions. I have hosted game shows at six of them. Six of them I have not. So Janessa is going to touch the screen on everywhere that she thinks I have hosted a game show. All right, so <laughs> you're going to go ahead and choose any six. All right, and let me get ready for that. There we go, and it'll light up. 
Subasakan, okay. Teco, all right. Anime Southeast, yeah, I've got to get faster with this. Middle Tennessee Anime Con, all right. One more. Tokyo and Tulsa, all right. And then there's a button to your left, and you're going to hit that button. <laughs> and four. Four of those are correct, two are wrong. You have to make some changes. Now, here's the thing. You cannot turn another one on until you turn one off. So turn one off that you think is wrong. All right. And then Onikon. And now see what that did. Go ahead and hit the button again and see if that fixed things. Aha! Yeah, there you go. You improved it one more. Uh, so let me show you what you should do in order to get all six. I've never done a game show at Middle Tennessee Anime Con, but I have done, believe it or not, Anime Iowa. And if you do that, there you go, and you'll come up to six. So, now, I'm glad that we practiced that, because now you get to do that, and I've got to watch you real close, which means I've got to put this thing in my lap. <laughs> so I'm going to do that right now. Bada bing. So I need to make sure that I get this right, so I've got to watch you and run this board at the same time. This is a challenge. All right, you get a different board. Yeah. All right, here's your board. Do I still hold the mic? No. No, you don't have to hold the mic anymore. You see the names of 12 voice actresses. <laughs> six of them... Six of them have had a role on any of the dubs of Sailor Moon. Six of them have. Whether it be the Viz dub, the original Deke dub, or the Sailor Moon Crystal dub, or any of the movies that have come out. Six of them have credits on those according to their Wikipedia articles. Six of them have never been on Sailor Moon. So, your job is to find the six. And this is where it gets tricky because you're going to have 60 seconds. Alright? So when I say go, you're going to go up and touch as quickly as you can the six that you think, and then you're going to run over there and hit that button. And hopefully I'm going to catch up with you. All right? I'm going to put the microphone down so I have full control. Audience, please, no help. Let me make sure I'm ready here. This is going to be hard. All right. You have 60 seconds. On your mark, get set, go! Uh, Leah Clark, uh, Jeffrey uh, Shea, uh, KJ Higgins, uh, uh, Caitlin Glass, uh, Lisa Ortiz, one more. Lauren Land, okay, go hit the button. And three right. You gotta turn one off before you turn one on. Okay, uh, I don't think maybe Caitlin. Yeah, think Caitlin, all right. Uh, go with Wendy Powell, now. all right. Do you wanna hit the button again to see how that did? Go ahead, hit the button. All right, still three. Oh boy. Uh, uh, Lauren Land. Lauren Land off, okay. And we'll go put back on. Okay. Caitlin, okay. Turn off Lisa, put Michelle, okay. Oh, now you're down to two. Yes, what I needed. Uh, Michelle off, Lisa back on. And we'll do uh, no Kate Higgins. No Kate Higgins, hit Marco Real. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yes! <laughs> that is time runs out on you. Okay, well. Uh, going for what we, we you, you, started, you started with three, and then you dropped to two, and then you dropped to one. The one you got right, August, you know the one, she, the one you got right? Stephanie Shea. Stephanie Shea is the only one you got right. Uh, the ones that have Kate Higgins, Veronica Taylor, Christina V, Lauren Landa, Amanda Miller, Stephanie Shea. That's what we needed there. You got one. <laughs> For 500 Rego bucks. So yeah, 500 for every one you got. So you had 15 and you lost a thousand of it. So, but you won twice as much as Ryan did. So congratulations. Please. <laughs> so next time, two games of Wipeout. That's what we do. But did you enjoy this? Did you have fun? Yeah. Cool. And this wasn't too terribly taxing. So we'll do this one again sometime. That was fun to, uh, to, to provide for you guys. So uh, special thanks to Travis Griffin who made this software.
You can find his software on his Etsy shop, just like you can find my software on my Etsy shop if you want to host your own game shows. So, or you can go to my table and buy the software directly from me while I'm here, because if you want to run some games, I got you hooked up, buddy. <laughs> so anyway, thanks to Janessa for being the lovely assistant that she is and running the cameras and, <laughs> and finding out that I've, uh, that I've never been to Tulsa. So uh, actually, I have I've actually won a Hall cosplay contest at Tokyo and Tulsa, but I didn't host any game shows there. So uh, anyway, that's it for Wipeout. Uh, enjoy the rest of your evening, and we'll see you right back in here tomorrow for Farkle at 2 o'clock and Pressure Luck at 7 o'clock. So thanks so much, and bye for now.